Hello anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we're exploring Final Fantasy VII once again. We're back here in Wall Market, or whatever the hell it's called. I think it's Wall Market, pretty sure. I had to look it up, to be honest. But nonetheless, we're here, we're at the Rustly Place, because we have, uh, what do we have? What are the items we have? Key items, we've got sexy cologne. Okay, cool, great. And we need to get a wig, and I'm pretty sure we get the wig from here by talking to this guy. Join the club, try it with us. Yes, I would like to do that, but I need. Alright, one, two, three, squats are all in the rhythm. I'm doing my best, bro. Blah, blah, blah. How's this? Yep, okay. I need to, uh. How do I. Join you guys. Oh dear, I've gained weight again. Yeah, they're saying the same stuff that they said when I was last in here. Okay, never mind. I guess we can't do that yet. Maybe. Hmm. Alright. Let's ask this guy about stuff. Pretty sure he's important for getting one of the other things. How was it? Not yet. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, he already. Sorry. Ooh, I forgot. He wanted the thing from the inn. In down here. He wants something from the vending machine. Uh, I think we need to actually stay a night. Which is really annoying. Does he mean this? Don't buy it. Buy the one for 200 gil. 100 gil. 150 gil. Uh, we have enough money. We'll get the one for 200 gil, because I'm pretty sure it's the best one that we'll get. The reward from him. The thing we get th from the vending machine corresponds to the reward we get from the guy. And we need all the best stuff, so that Cloud can be the prettiest girl imaginable. Alright, thank you very much. Please come again. So we just had to spend 210 freaking gil just to complete this little part of the quest. Jeez. Hey, you. I got it. Oh, really? Hey. Jeez. And what was it? A protein drink set. That jerk. I'm gonna do so much more business than him. His head'll spin. What? A protein drink set? And you need that so you can stay up and work harder, I guess? Okay. Thanks, bud. I'm motivated now. Take this. It's not much. Thanks. You received key item diamond tiara. Amazing. Fantastic. Also, I believe... I think, I think like, time passes since we spent a night in the inn. And now some of the other stuff should have changed, like this guy. No, but I just can't make up my mind here. You take this, you won't be able to get in without it. See the key item, members card. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I think we have to do that at the other place. The weird creepy prostitution ring. That's possibly forced or something, I'm not sure. Are these guys doing anything different? Join the club? No? Okay. I guess not. Um, also, the dress? Where was the dressmaker's place? Was that right here? I think maybe we just have to go back and talk to them to get the dress. Looks like everything went well. He's been making the dress ever since he came back. Oh, you're here. It's ready. Go try it on. Received key item, silk dress. <laughs> oh, fantastic. How... how do you put this thing on? Whoa, what are you doing? It's still not right. A wig, that's what you need. Um, I thought you might, so I talked to my friend about getting one. You know the gym? You'll find a lot of people there like you. Go and talk to them. Oh, okay, so we have to do it in this order. That's interesting. <laughs> like you? Eris, what did you tell him? Does it matter? Anyhow, we got a pretty dress! Oh, this is the best. 
I'm glad that this moment is being kept in the Final Fantasy VII Remake. But, uh, I think... I think once we put the dress and everything else on, we'll, uh... Kind of... I, ah, I don't remember correct. But I think we might be forced to, uh... Continue on. So, I'm gonna go and do this first, because we got that member's pass. Hey, is that a member's card I see shining in your hot little hand? Please, come in. Yeah, sure. Looks like I need to go inside to complete my disguise. Hmm, sure, good excuse. See, uh, did he just wink? I think he just winked. <laughs> okay. Who, uh, I, uh, mean, sir? Hurry. What? Why is the camera angle so messed up in here? Please choose a room. Gosh, he's so weird. But then again, they all are. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, room. Is that a door right there? Nope. The shit room? Looks like it's unoccupied. I guess I'll take this one. Hold ground. <laughs> okay, well... Oh, oh, okay. Hold up. I'm trying to... The group room. Looks like it's unoccupied. Hold ground. What's this one? The queen's room. Looks like this room's being used. Take a listen. What? Let's take a peek. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. What the hell? The wind's calm now. It's the curse of the resurrected Satan. Our beloved queen does not awaken. The time is ripe. <laughs> A legend has been passed on through generations. Psst! Hey, shouldn't we stop him soon? What the hell's even going on? Oh! Oh! They've got the girl on the bed there. And he's chanting. That's That guy right there is the one that's chanting. Whisper, whisper, whisper. We have a luncheon with President Shinra. Psst, you tell him. Psst, I can't tell him. Come on. Oh, well. Legend has been passed on through the generations. I'm so disgusted with the president. They sought the promised land. Is this the... President of Shinra? This guy is... What? That doesn't look like him. We met the President of Shinra. This doesn't look like him. Or are they just talking about the President of Shinra and he's not actually here? Wouldn't make any sense for him to be here in District 6 anyway. They sought the Promised Land. This happens every time we come to Midgar on business. One with blue eyes. Came all the way to Midgar just for this. And a great white sword on his back. What are you complaining about? You're just holding the lights. You've got to wear this. I've got to wear this heavy armor. It will not lead us to the promised land. Is he the one wearing heavy armor? Oh, the other dude. Oh, never mind. For some reason, it wouldn't let me. Yeah, right here at this spot. If you're pointing down too far, it doesn't let you move past it for some reason. That's weird. Interesting. I, I, honestly though, I don't really know what's going on in here. <laughs> I know, I know, but it's all part of the job. Oh yeah, did you hear? The president's wife found out about this little hobby of his. Ha <laughs> ha, no way, I didn't know about that. Oh, looks like he's done. Man, I'm glad. Jeez, Mr. President, I mean, your majesty. Oh, I'm sorry, please remove the ancient curse. Who, uh, I, uh, mean, sir. Hurry. Hurry for what? I don't want to hurry. The lover's room. Looks like this room's being used. Take a listen. Okay, there wasn't much of a noise. Take a peek. Wow. Wheeze. Phew. 
What's wrong, Grandpa? You keep sighing. Please, Puff. You know, Grandpa. The frick is that, Kate Sith? That's that's a really small Kate Sith. The hell's he doing here? What the hell is a small version of him doing here? That's that's fucked up. Of all the things I've seen in this brothel, this is the worst. You know, Grandpa. Is this the room? Get over there. Damn it. Ooh, I know our son rented this for us and all, but our son? Wait, what? So that's the grandpa. Who the hell is this? It's too nice for us. Big round bed, gorgeous tub, I just can't get comfortable. I think... I think they're husband and wife, and for some reason she refers to him as grandpa. It's the only thing that makes sense. And I guess their son bought them this room for their you know, anniversary or something, probably. It's weird. Don't worry about it. It's a high-class neighborhood in the big city. No, it's not. This place is a slum. You keep complaining and we'll get in trouble. Wheeze. Who? I, uh, mean, sir. Hurry. Yep, uh-huh. Great. You know what? I want to see what happens if we go into the shit room. I guess I'll take this one. I'll take this room. Alright, now all we have to do is enter the room. You're not going to have a change of heart, are you? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm still trying. Sure. Oh, don't be angry with me. Jeez, this one's probably the violent type. <laughs> Alright, please. Oh. Wow. Nice music. What the hell? Um. Anything over here? No. Anything on the bed? No. The hell? That's that's Cloud. And he's like in the fetal position. Hmm. You? What are you doing in a place like this? So I wanted to ask you, should you be fooling around here? You think problems go away by just thinking about them? Oh no! Help someone, hurry! Wow, I never... You can't change anything by just sitting back and looking at it. What are you saying? It started moving. What has? Wake up! You know, that's really cool. I've never seen this this cutscene or dialogue before. Rub, 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 rub. Thump, pound, thump, pound. Poik, poik, squit. What the fuck? Are these supposed to be Japanese person's idea of the sounds of sex? Uh, ow. Cloud's HP MP restored. Wake up. Wake up. Why is he here? Phew, I'm so relieved. Bubby, I heard you collapsed. Mucky? No, no, no. Don't get so uptight, huh? Ugh. Hmm? They say youth is so long yet so short. Let's give this next one your best shot. Time's up. Bye, Bubby. I don't have any idea what happened here. I'm so sorry. There's a lot of adult things going on. For your inconvenience, please take this, okay? Received key item. Lingerie. What, this rag for me? I just don't get it. Okay. Now, here's the real question. Are we able to go into the other rooms as well? And get all the possible scenes? Maybe. This one's unlocked, so... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, I just can't seem to lose weight. Hmm, hmm. Sir, you can't come in here. Yuck, a pervert. Well, do you know where you work? You, you know, pretty sure you do. Know what to expect. 
Yeah, don't. Okay. If I were to dress up like a woman, then I've got to really prepare carefully. I should be able to put makeup on here. <laughs> have them make me up. Go ahead. I have a favor to ask of you. Can you put makeup on me too? Paste, paste, paste. Oh, hi. I don't see any difference. You did a shit job there, girl. Do you notice a difference? I don't. Looks exactly the same. Maybe, maybe she just put, like, foundation on, or whatever. Mm. Okay, we can't examine this room, so I guess we can't get the other scene as well. Queen's room. Uh, sure, just take a listen, because I don't actually want to go through the whole freaking scene again. Ah, I wanted to see what was in this room, though. Oh, well. Maybe if we leave and come back? Don't suppose. No. Okay. Alright. That's fine. It's fine by me. Hey. Uh, sir, it's almost closing time, so please remember any personal belongings. Okay. What do you want? Uh, I want flowers too, but I get so nervous in front of cute girls. It just seems natural to get cautious. Oh, they're all crowding around Eris. Ha. Ha ha. Oh boy. Hey, Cloud. I bought some pretty flowers from Eris. 500 gil, a little expensive. Well, at least I got her name. 500 gil just to get a girl's name. Wow. Oh, and she just teleports inside of me. Amazing. Eris, thanks for the flower and one gil. I'll treasure this. I'm going to dry it and keep it for good luck. What? What, you gave him money and flowers? What the hell? I asked Eris for a date. And she said not even if I paid her one million gil. Her flowers cost 300 gil, too. She's a good businesswoman. Sure. Yeah, a good businesswoman charges different prices for every single customer. One customer gets flowers and gets paid. One customer gets charged 500 gil. Another gets charged 300. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, well. Hey, at least that one guy got her name. I'm sure that was worth it. Also, the thing that I was looking up, which is why I knew that this place is called Wall Market, um, was what this place is all about. Because I had a feeling it probably wasn't something we could do anything with. Um, it's the, for those of you who might not remember from the last episode, it's a little computer. Whenever we try to interact with it, the Gatling gun points at us and shoots at us. So I was trying to look up what this place is all about. And turns out it's nothing that we can do right now. We have to come back later in the game to be able to interact with it or anything like that. And apparently it's to get a new weapon for Tifa. So I don't think we'll even be doing this most likely because I don't plan on using Tifa in my final party. So, yeah. Okay, so we got the we got the makeup. Uh, we got the diamond tiara down from that place. Or no, we, I'm sorry. We got the diamond tiara from here. We got the makeup from the other place. So now we need to get the wig from up here. And now that we talked to the guy at the dress store, now we can actually get it, I guess. <clears throat> Are you the one who wants to be cute? Cute? Right. And about the wig, yeah, I heard, but it'll cost you. Err, big bro. The only way you're gonna get cuter is if you can be big bro. That's right. So you've got to compete with us. You're right. Let's do squats. All right. We'll beat you out of this gym. Are you the beautiful bro? What? You didn't know? Always running around here saying big bro this, big bro that. Never mind that. Come over here. No, I'll explain the rules. I think he meant now, but whatever. From the ready position, push switch to squat, push cancel to get up, and push OK to go back to the ready position. So it's switch, cancel, OK in that order. Got it? Don't have it. it are you going to tell me which button is switch? I guess that'd be square on PlayStation Controller X on 360? I suppose. 
Okay, I guess. Whoever has the most squats after 30 seconds gets the wig. I'm not gonna lose. Big Bro's wig is mine. Just be quiet. It's not fair for you to start right away. So, you want some practice? Yes, please, I would like some practice. Then start practicing. No. No. Okay, this is weird. I'm pressing all the buttons. And he's not doing it. Oh, okay. The hell? Okay. You had zero squats. Now let's begin the real thing. No! No! I'm not ready! What the hell? I don't even know how I'm doing it! Oh my god. Oh my god. I know how to get down, I don't know how to go back up properly. Oh, okay. So left shoulder and then A. Oh my god, you had 16 squats and you had one Fucking hell. Sorry you lose. Since the old man from the clothing store asked me, I can't keep it from you, so... Oh, now where did I put it? Alright then. And he, he just pulls the wig out of his underwear. Stupid, what kind of place is that to hide it in? I think he literally did. Uh, bro's fists of steel cut to the bone. Sorry, you should still be able to use it if you disinfect it first. Yeah, I think he had it down his, his jock strap there. Received key item wig. Oh, we got the worst wig possible. There's like a... There's a wig and then there's like a fancy wig and a beautiful wig or something like that. There's three levels of wigs. There's three levels of every item you can get. Except, I think, the diamond tiara or something? I'm not sure. I don't know. But anyway, so at least we got the wig. I believe we have enough items that we should be able to get the best thing. Um... Oh, shit, what was I talking about? Yeah, the, the stupid squats. I don't know why that was so hard. I suppose by switch, they probably meant... Um... I, I imagine the L1 button or on 360 controller, it's left bumper. Um... I believe during combat, pressing that button switches, probably switches, I don't know, I haven't actually used it, that probably is the button for switching uh, your position in the lineup in combat. And so that's probably what they meant by switch. And obviously the OK button is A, but like I was so confused by the whole way it worked that I didn't uh, manage to not do it correctly. And... Uh, yeah, just in general, like, that was really annoying, because I actually aced that on when I played the original PlayStation version. Uh, I don't know how, but I guess I just figured it out a lot easier, and it wasn't as awkward as this time. Oh well, looks like you're all set. Now try it on, and let's see how it fits. Yep. Time to become the prettiest girl. Aren't you going to change? Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, I wanted to make sure I saved the game before I changed, because I can't remember if it'll force us to go immediately to the, you know, Don's place. Hmm, not bad. This may be a new business for me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Should we try it? Thanks for showing us something new. My father's got his motivation back now, so the dress is on the house. Walk more nicely like this, Miss Cloud. What do you mean, nicely? Oh, you're so cute, Miss Cloud. Ah, uh, I want one. Do you have one that'll look good on me, too? How's this? How about that one? Father, what are you talking about? This one's much better. No, what are you saying? This one. I want this one. Huh? I'm going to go change. And everyone's... Of course, they're all staring at her. No peeking. Mm -hmm. Wow, I've never seen someone get changed their clothes so fast. Of course, Cloud took longer. So, how do I look? 
Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> well, I don't think Cloud's having a lot of fun right now. I wonder if we talk to people, do they uh, not recognize us? Oh, what should I do? Should I just buy it? Please, stop by. Hey, pretty lady, let me tell you about a good job. Go to the Don's place and make a small fortune. Yeah, okay, so they do. Oh, that one guy, at least, says something a little different. Alrighty. Let's go up to the Don's place. I don't believe there's anything else we can really do. So might as well. Hey there. Damn, your friend's hot too. Come in, come in. Two ladies coming through. Okay, hey ladies. I'll go and let the Don know you're here. Wait here, don't wander around. Now's our chance, let's find Tifa. You're damn right. That guy told us not to wander around. We don't listen to him. He's just a lowly security guard at the front desk. Closed. It's probably in the big door, isn't he? Office of Don Corneo, keep out. Oh, oh okay, no, we just gotta go over here. Never mind. Never mind. Down to the creepy dungeon. Great. Fantastic. Oh, amazing. There's literal torture devices down here. A lot of them. That is a spiked mace. Those are tongs. That looks like a pokey thing. That is a whip. That's a hammer. That is a steel bed with straps on it. Yep, this place is horrible. Amazing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tifa saw him and now he's embarrassed. Oh boy. Tifa? Nice to meet you, I'm Eris. Cloud's told me a lot about you. And you are? Hey, you're the one with Cloud in the park. Right, with Cloud. Oh. Don't worry, we just met. It's nothing. What do you mean, don't worry? About what? Jesus. Is everyone in this game an idiot? No, don't misunderstand. Cloud and I grew up together, nothing more. Poor Cloud, having to stand here and listen to both of us call him nothing. Right, Cloud? <laughs> Cloud? What? Oh, potion! More important- Ether, even better. I need Ethers and I can't buy them yet. Also, uh, I just realized those are all, that's not like just a fireplace, those are probably hot coals that are being warmed up over a fire to be picked up with the tongs, and yeah, horrible torture things going on in this room, why the fuck? Hi, Tifa. Huh? Cloud? Why are you dressed like that? And what are you doing here? Never mind, what happened to you after the fall? Are you hurt? Slow down, let me answer. I'm dressed like this because there was no other way to get in here. I'm alright, Eris helped me out. Oh, Eris did. Tifa, explain what you're doing in a place like this. Yeah, um... Ahem, I'll just plug my ears. <laughs> and walk across the room. Oh, I have to talk again, okay. I'm glad you're okay. Thanks, what happened? When we got back from the Sector 5 reactor, we saw a weird man. Barrett caught him and squeezed some information out of him. That's when the Don's name popped up? Right, Don Corneo. Barrett told me to leave the Letch alone. But something's been bothering me. I see, so you wanted the story straight from Corneo's mouth. Well, I made it here, but now I'm stuck. Cornea was looking for a bride. Well, I mean, are you surprised? You, you dressed up all pretty to get into the mansion of a guy who's a horrible, like, rapist and stuff, probably, I guess. I mean, look at the room we're standing in. He's obviously evil. And you're surprised that he's not letting you leave freely. Every day, he gets three girls, chooses one of them, and then, well... Anyway, I have to be the girl for tonight. Sorry, 
but I overheard. Oh, yeah, real, real good job covering your ears there. If you know the three girls, there's no problem, right? I guess so, but we have two here, right? No, Eris, I can't involve you. Oh, so it's alright for Tifa to be in danger? Well, to be fair, she does have more fighting experience than you. She's part of a terrorist group. No, I don't want Tifa in. Is it alright? I grew up in the slums. I'm used to danger. You, you, you sell flowers on the street corner. You, I mean, it's in the middle of the daylight, and there's people around. You're not in that much danger. Do you trust me? Yes, thanks, Miss Eris. Call me Eris. Hey! It's time, ladies. The Don is waiting. That was... That's the same... I just realized that's the same character model that they had for the guy who's standing outside the... the prostitution place where they were dressed as the bees. I think it's called the Honey Bee something or whatever. Um... But yeah, and it's also the same model. Uh, th obviously, this is the guy who was sitting at the desk when we came in. But I think it's the exact same model as the other one. Interesting. I told you not to wander around. I tell you, women nowadays. Hurry up, will ya? I guess I don't need to ask, but the other girl is me, right? You're right. You didn't need <laughs> to ask. <laughs> I kind of love this part just because it's so funny. Cloud takes it well, though. He 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 takes it in stride. Haha, <laughs> you know you don't look bad if you don't look closely. I wonder what Barrett would say if he could see you. They're going to get suspicious if we don't hurry. All right, well let's go then. Everyone, just teleport inside my body. I will carry us. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this... <laughs> when he's out here, he stands so properly with his hands full in front of him. It's kind of it's kind of a nice detail. He doesn't do that when, when you're down here, right? No, he doesn't. His hands are apart. But once you get out here, and there's people around watching, then he stands like that to look more, like, proper and everything. It's a really cool detail something that most players probably wouldn't even notice, but they put the time in to change his animation. I like that. I like it a lot. The Don's waiting in his room. Ha ha ha. Okie doke. Don! Sup? What's up, Bubby? Can't talk to him. Why not? Do I have to be in just the perfect position? I guess I have to try and walk around his desk. Alright. Koch. All right, ladies, line up in front of the Don. That's what I was trying to do at first, but you kind of wouldn't interact with me when I pressed the, the button. Hmm, good, splendid. Now, let's see, which girl should I choose? Hmm, hmm. This one? Or this one? As long as he doesn't look closely, he won't be able to tell. Woohoo, I've made up my mind. My choice for tonight is... This healthy-looking girl. Healthy-looking. <laughs> healthy-looking. As in, milk jug-sized biceps. Is that healthy-looking to you? I guess so. W wait a sec. I mean, uh, please, wait a moment. Now, in this... Uh, scene. I don't actually remember the exact effect, but um, the items you choose, the like the dress and the wig and everything that you get, and whether or not you get makeup, all of that affects uh, which girl he picks. Um, and if you get all the best items, uh, you don't have to get it perfectly. You don't have to get every single one of the best items, but if you get most of the best items, he will choose Cloud, and I believe that's overall an advantage because I don't remember like there's there's a fight that happens afterwards and I don't remember exactly what order any of it happens in but uh, I believe it's somehow better if you 
end up getting cloud picked. Ooh hoo! I love chickies who play hard to get. Yowza! Yeah, you can have the rest. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, this whole place isn't fun, is it? No, it's not. It's not a good deal here. Mm. Shall we go, my pretty? I can't wait until I don't have to do his voice anymore. Let me tell you, it's not the best. Yep, just just go with him, Cloud. Get alone with him, and then you can kill him, right? Ah, we're finally alone. All right, pussy cat, come to daddy. <laughs> I never thought I'd be saying that line, ever, in my life. Oh, he follows you. Follows you very intently. You can see the look in his eyes. He wants the cloud. <laughs> and he'll get it, I suppose, technically. But he'll do that in the next episode, because we're all out of time for this. So went over quite a bit, actually. But oh well, it's okay. I will see you all next time. I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, when we come back, we'll, 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 we'll come to Daddy, I guess. And then we'll shove our big, hard sword through him. Let that sink in for a while. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.